I took a lot of um, a, a lot of acid, right? And when I did that, I actually opened even more portals. I astral projected. I did all these things. Demons started to talk to me, bro. Like it was insane. But once I gave my life to Jesus, all that wiped away. It wiped away clean because there's no there's no demonic power that has authority over the name of Jesus. And I say all that to say, hey, how y'all doing? God bless you guys. God What's bless. up, Rich? Hey, um, so I wanted to actually talk about the girl earlier that spoke about sleep paralysis and uh, kind of oh. want to go more in depth into that because I have my own personal testimony about that, if you guys don't mind. It's going to be super quick. Yeah. Yeah, do your thing, man. All right, perfect. So, um, go ahead. So, what she, so what she experienced was sleep paralysis. At the age, I say for me, like around eight years old, I experienced that. Um, at a very young age and usually what happens is what demons do they will suppress you they will like you will feel chained up like you can't speak you'll see demonic energy you'll feel demonic a uh, demonic presence kind of holding you down and you'll wake up um frightened just tormented right and the Bible says that the, the battle is not against flesh and blood, but the evil principalities of this dark world. So life is actually more spiritual than physical. So a lot of people don't actually see the spiritual realm, but the spiritual realm exists. So there are demons tormenting people. I mean, you see it all the time when people go to clubs, right? There's obviously de demons with them, right? They don't see them, but they are with them. Or if you're taking drugs, right? Uh, you, you, when you take drugs, you're actually opening portals for demonic uh, uh, activities to 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 be present with you, right? But also, there's witchcraft or just generational curses, right? That's implant that's implanted into into your your bloodline, right? Where whether just people that that doesn't practice Christianity that that uh, that either worships like Saint Mary or um, you know, that practice any other religions that actually open up portals. And I say that to say um, that what she did was right. Saying the name of Jesus, because the name of Jesus is what's going to conquer any enemy. It's by the blood of Jesus. No, you can have a million demons and they still won't have any power over the, over the name of Jesus. And I've done that before. My, my own experience is that I've seen a three-headed dog demon. Mm. I said, I said, and then Nobre de Jesus, right? Which is the, is, is the name of Jesus in Spanish. When, when I said in the name of Jesus, those demons immediately cast it out. And I saw a white door open and I saw a man walk up to me. It, it, I couldn't see his face because it was a bright light. He grabbed my hand. And this was when I was a little kid, right? And even moving on forward, because I joined the military. I did a lot of drugs in there, right? I took a lot of um, a, a lot of acid, right? And when I did that, I actually opened even more portals. I astral projected. I did all these things. Demons started to talk to me, bro. Like it was insane. But once I gave my life to Jesus, all that wiped away. It wiped away clean because there's no there's no demonic power that has authority over the name of Jesus. And I say all that to say that we have to have spiritual eyes. We have to have discernment, right? Don't look at people as the enemy. Look at the spirits that's controlling these people, right? Because when Adam and Eve were here, Satan deceived them, right? And when that happened, we, there was an implant of, of people doing evil things because Satan has became their influence. But they don't know that. And you see it all over. You see it in music. You see how demonic music is. You see how uh, demonic the how, how how demonic the Hollywood uh, industry is. You see it all over the, the the mainstream media how they lie all the time about the news, how how people are so envious and so greedy about money. It's all Satan. All of it is Satan. So I I just want to add that. So praise God. Yeah. Amen. Praise God, man. Praise God. Thank you for helping out our sister Sophia absolutely absolutely anything else you want to add my brother um uh well i guess i i, I should say Gideon, bro i've seen i've seen you really turn your life uh, around with god and really just want to encourage you brother it's so good to see more brothers 
in the kingdom. We need more brothers like you to continue to spread the word of God. And uh, it's very encouraging, bro. Do not give up, bro. I know you probably experienced a lot of persecution, but uh, like Jesus said, um, you are blessed when you're persecuted. And for you, for you to delete all your content, that's that's radical, bro. And I appreciate that for you, bro. And God sees that, bro. And I just want to encourage you highly to continue to seek the word of God and and never back down from the enemy because the enemy will continue to strike you. He will continue to um, create plans to pull you away from the Lord. And I pray that everybody here in this chat, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you all you guys get closer to Jesus. It's not about religion. It's not about, oh, I praise God on Sundays but then live a completely different lifestyle. No, Jesus says, pick up your cross daily and follow me. That Amen. means every single day, every single day you are denying your flesh. Every single day you are praying, you're worshiping God because God is the one who gave you breath in the first place. You wouldn't exist in the first place without God. So I just say, I just say all that to say, continue to, uh, continue to serve God with all your heart, soul, and might. So that, that's about it. Amen, guys. Give God the glory. Amen.